So for content readability, you are looking at working with the font type, the font size, and the font itself, as well as the style you apply to that particular font. So at this section, let's take a look at how to go about that. So since you are going to be working with um, the font or text over here, one tool which is important for us to work or bring to the canvas has to be the text tool. So once I bring the text tool over here, and then I simply double click on the text tool, it um, gives me the settings or the properties that is available to use with the text tool in here. Now, because I'm going to be working with text, it is important for me to populate this particular text with um, something. So let me just go ahead and then change this to, let's say one paragraph, and then i move this in here. Now, since we know that the uh, font type that you're using for your project is very important, depending on which target audience you are designing for, it is important for you to um, double click on your text and then go ahead to specify the font type that you're going to use. So let's say I want to use Open Sans for this particular one. I go ahead and then specify the Open Sans uh, font type. Now it is also important for you to change the size of your font. Now when you're working with desktop or let's say by the default, which is going to be desktop, it is um, the list of font size you would want to go will have to be um, 11 pixels. Why? Because um, if you go something below 11 pixels, you're going to have a very tiny text, which is going to be difficult for people to be able to read. So you might want to keep your um, lowest, you want to go to um, like um, that's 11 pixels. And then depending on maybe you're designing for, you're trying to create something specific, then you might want to go below 11 pixels. But aside that, I would highly recommend But aside that, but aside that, I highly recommend you stick to 11 pixels as the least that you'd want to go for um, your text. That is the size of your text you'd be working with. Now, once you're done applying, let's say, the font size to your text that you're working with, it is also important to apply some kind of spacing to it. Now, spacing because it makes it easier for people to be able to read whatever you have on your website without finding it any um, difficult going about that so for instance if i want to apply some kind of space into this particular text all i have to do is to, to, to double click on it and then highlight the text and then once i'm done with that i come to where i have um, the line spacing or so this is where i have my line spacing i click on it and then i go ahead to spe um, select or specify the line spacing i would want to use so let's say 1.5 1.5 is fine. You can go below 1.5. So let's say you can go 1.2, which gives you some extra spacing. But probably you might want to be working with around 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, which gives you enough spacing around your text so that it becomes easily um, visible for people to be able to interact or be able to read whatever you have on your website. So just as we have in here, let me just go ahead and then try to preview this in a browser to see how it's going to show. So let me just wait for some few seconds as it shows. So as you can see, looking at this, uh, this is how it shows with the extra space and around it. Now let me go ahead and then scale this back to what it used to be before. So with, this was going to be 1.0. And then let me preview this and then um, try to, I'm going to try to keep this side by side. So looking at this and then looking at this you realize it becomes let me just click on this and then um, try to get the other tab 
So looking at this and then looking at this, it is very easier for you to um, read what you have on the left hand side as compared to that of the right hand side. It isn't so much difficult, but the extra spacing you have around this text in here makes it um, easily to read as compared to that of this. This puts it a bit, you know, compresses it together, makes it a bit difficult to read. And this becomes very handy when you are looking at the responsive, uh, responsive aspect of your website that is having it on mobile devices. That's when it's very important to have extra spacing around it so that people can easily read what you have on your website.